And my mother always used to sarcastically point to me at Sunday dinner and say, you know, some people, busy people, are never too busy to tell you how busy they are. And uh, yeah, I've never felt so tall, Vince, at any speech. Okay, I, I get a lot of questions. The, the most common question I get is, are we going to win this? And the answer is, we're already winning this. And let me give you a, a couple of indications as to why. Before COVID-19, vaccine hesitancy in Canada was about 10%. In Ontario, it's 30% of all adults. Okay? In the, in the United States, it's 50%. In the developing world, where they're much more smart than we are, because they're not so arrogant and they have a lot more pressing survival issues, Pakistan, where my wife and uh, uh, co-director of the Constitutional Center is from, only 1% of the population has been vaccinated. In, 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 Ga in places like West Africa, Ghana, only 2.5%. Worldwide, with this COVID, COVID in, inoculation, I won't even call it a vaccine, uh, oh, 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 only 12 to 15 percent of the global population is vaxxed. Now, why is this important? Because they have spent 12 trillion dollars so far. Twelve trillion dollars is almost the uh, is is the annual budget for the United States of America. Twelve trillion dollars, you can't me uh, bend your fucking mind around. <laughs> but I'll give you I'll give you uh, an example of what twelve trillion dollars is to try to help you. It's thirty six million dollars a day for every day of the year since the day they crucified Jesus Christ. It's thirty six million dollars a year for two thousand fucking years. They want their return on their money. That's just one of their agendas is the money. They're not getting it. So what do fascists do when they're not getting the, their way? They tighten the screws, they, they tighten the noose. That's what tells you they're panicking at. And they do it in an irrational way just to keep you disoriented. So the goalposts change every couple of weeks, every month. Now Doug Ford is saying, oh, it's all over January, March, you fucking liar. it's going to be temporarily over in March. What happens 12 weeks later is his election bid. They lie and they keep lying and they'll forever lie. Okay? They, they've never told the truth and every time we predict things, we're a conspiracy theorists. Well, I got news for you, you depraved motherfucker. You, I'm a I am a conspiracy analyst, not a conspiracy theorist. I analyze government conspiracies. My entire 33 years as a lawyer, I only do cases of government, against government, so I know my enemy pretty well. Okay? So the cases are moving along. I've already argued three doctor's cases and the, and the, uh, and the uh, gag order uh, uh, on the constitutionality of the uh, College of Surgeons and Physicians on whether they have a right to even tell doctors what they can say or not say is coming up December 8th. Okay, and so the other cases are also moving. Uh, I'm not going to say more than one thing. Judges and lawyers are not Speedy Gonzalez, <laughs> but we we get to it. So, and they're they're starting. The cases are starting to be scheduled in court. Uh, Police on Guard has organized the federal workers. We're on for that very shortly. I'm drafting the claim against that other MF, Trudeau. Right? And I, I, I know that a lot of you good folk don't like don't like when I swear, but it's honor to it's an honor to my mother. She she taught me and I can't shake it. And I don't even want to. I'll be honest with you, I don't want to. 
There's You're nothing awesome. wrong with calling people what they are. Okay? So, so the federal, the uh, police on guard have organized the, uh, and you know, you can talk to them. It takes about 800 to 1,000 hours of collective time just to organize the plaintiffs on these cases. They're in the hundreds, so we can make it affordable. They're in the hundreds. Uh, the health workers uh, are also organized in Ontario, so we're going to be on board for them this week. And, uh, and uh, uh, Take Action Canada has been organizing the first responders, and we're going on for them in Ontario as well. Okay? So, so what the government is not really registering is that your own, the people of conscience in your government departments, the ones that you haven't put the fear of God and starvation of their children in, who have taken your stupid inoculation because they don't feel they have a choice, because they have to, they have to uh, feed their families. You've got a core of about 20% of your own government workers who are telling you this is wrong, and what do you do? Do you listen? Do you sit down? No, you piss on them. Yeah. And you extort them. Get the job or you lose your job? Well, that's extortion under the criminal code. Yeah. Right? And the only reason we can't get prosecutions is that even if you're successful in getting a justice of the peace to swear a charge, any Crown Attorney can walk in, take, take over the prosecution, and withdraw the charges, which is what is likely to happen. But I say to police officers of conscience, lay the charges anyway. So, I don't have to tell you, I'm speaking not to the, uh, not to, I'm speaking to the anointed, not the converted. But don't, don't listen to a frigging word any government person or leader tells you. They're just a bunch of liars, yeah. all right? So we're gonna keep at it. You are winning. I don't even say we are winning. Do not, do not wait for a lawyer or anybody else to wave that magic wand or shoot that magic bullet. Shoot, you have to take control of your own sovereignty, your own body, your own mind, and tell them to go fuck themselves. I'm sorry Vince, I know as an OPP officer, you, you heard less swearing in your 32 years than the last five minutes, but we cannot soft pedal this. You have to let them know that you're not taking their shit. Okay, and act accordingly. Organize, protest, hound them, you know, take action, and just keep resisting. This is an ugly, ugly fascist agenda. These people are not, I mean, you know, to call them fascists is to insult the fascist. Okay? This is way beyond. They're genocidal maniacs, psychopaths, and they're doing it for money. Their greed is without bounds. You know, their propensity to lie. There's, this swear could not, could, couldn't hold their propensity to lie. Their greed. And they have a disdain for humanity. They don't consider us human beings because the elites think their shit doesn't smell. Because they don't clean it, their servants do. And so keep resisting, keep up the fight, all right? And if they call you a conspiracy theorist, just remind them that conspiracy is a criminal offense and an actionable tort. And if you're a conspiracy theorist, they must be a coincidence theorist. And it's not illegal to believe in coincidences. So they're just branding you. Respond by saying they're pedophiles, that's what they are. They were, they were giving away ice cream right down there to children to have vaccine, their vaccine. Pedophiles offer cookies and sweets to children before they violate them. Shame on them, and it's great to see you all here.